Hello. Today is Monday, October 7th, 2024. My name is Mr. Sean, and also with me is... Mrs. McVail. We're your news team for the nightly news. We're glad to see you back in school after a long weekend. Before we get started with this week's news, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are the announcements. It's fundraiser time. Our Drool and Moose fundraiser is officially underway. Have you sold any chocolate yet? Students can participate until this Friday, October 11th, when all packets are due back at school. We have one after school group meeting this week. Girls on the Run will meet after school on Tuesday and Thursday in the Media Center. Parent teacher conferences begin this week. They will be held during the times you see on the screen. We hope to see all of our NH families at conferences. Students, remind your parents to sign up for a time. Speaking of parents and teachers, there is a PTA meeting on Thursday night from 6.30 until 8 p.m. In the, in the Normandale Hills Media Center. NH families are invited to participate and childcare is provided. Very good. Okay, Sean, we have to make a correction. Uh, so last week on the Pizza with the Principal announcement, we incorrectly named the winners as September's winners when they were actually August's winners. So we apologize for the mistake. Hey, did you know that this was the earliest pizza with the principal we ever had? Really? For real life. For real life. Mm -hmm. That's all for the announcements. Now it's time for the lunch menu. Here's the lunch menu this week. For Monday, we'll have French toast sticks and cheese omelet. On Tuesday, look for chicken tenders. Wednesday, it will be, it will be Bosco cheese sticks. And on Thursday, enjoy some chicken Alfredo. <laughs> and for Friday, it's your choice of cheese pizza or fish sandwich. What are you looking forward to this week for lunch? Uh, well, the Bosco cheese sticks are usually like a fan favorite in the MacPhail household. Um, how about you guys? Um, I'm looking forward to the fettuccine. The fettuccine Alfredo? Yes. Uh-huh. It's now time for the weather. <laughs> well, those trees are starting to get some pretty fall colors outside, right? Yeah. We're nearing peak fall colors, believe it or not. Our peak in the Bloomington area is the middle to the end of October, and it's looking pretty quiet this week. Highs will be in the mid-60s to near 80 degrees. Yeah, it's still in October, 80 mm -hmm. degrees. Oh, it can be windy on some of those days, and usually when it does get warm this time of the year, there's usually wind to go with it. But no rain is in the forecast, at least at the time that we recorded this. Thank you, Mrs. McPhail. It's time to check in on our top stories. Let's take a look. Let's play share a table or not. The goal of the game is to decide as a class where the food item would go. You'll see two options on the screen. Text that says yes, this can go on the share table with a picture of our share table. And text that says no, not for the share table. Put in the garbage with a picture of a red lunchroom trash can. You'll also see a pause button, which is when teachers should pause the video because it's time for students to talk about where the food item should go and why. Don't worry, there will be a picture of the food item also on the screen. So, ready to play? Here's a bag of unopened apple slices that you got in the lunch line. Share table or not? Time's up. Yes. This can go on the shared table as long as it is unopened. All right, ready for round two? Here's a container of yogurt that was open. The spoons even included. Share table or not? Time's up. 
time's up. This has to go in the garbage. There's no open food allowed on the shared table. Okay, ready for the round three? Here's a bag of graham cracker bug bites. They were open and one was eaten. But plenty are left, share table or not? Time's up. This also has to go in the garbage. No open food is allowed on the share table. Thanks for playing. Do you have any questions about what can go on the shared table or how to use it? Let us know and you could see it featured on a future newscast. Finally today, it's our time for a laugh and think segment, so let's take a look. All right, let's check in on our solar panels. So this is pretty cool. The solar panels are on our roof. A few of us went up last week on a very windy day <laughs> to take a look at all of them. And we also brought some of your questions to the folks that were up there doing the installation on the different electrical parts. So. Our trivia question from last week was, do solar panels work on cloudy or rainy days? And that, so a lot of the kids have been asking too, like how does it work on a cloudy or a rainy or a snowy day? It still works in, in a cloudy day, yeah. I think Ger Germany started most of this and they have the most clouds, but they are way ahead in solar. So it still works on a cloudy day. It might not produce as much, but it still works. All right, well now we know, yes, solar panels work on cloudy or rainy or yes, even snowy days. Okay, so how about this week's trivia question? The solar panels are on the roof, but what's happening now? What are these workers doing up there? Talk about it with your classmates, see if you can figure it out, and we'll have the answer next time. That's all for this edition of the Nightly News. We hope you all have a great week and remember, be, be a knight, knight and do things right. right. Bye. Bye. Next week with 100% more fifth grade. Woohoo!